My next guest became a household name for his starring roles in Monty Python. This Christmas, Michael Palin is returning to our screens, hurrah, in a very different role. He plays the green man in the remake of the family classic, Wurzel Gummy. Do you kind of like just choose to do things that mm. you think will be a laugh? Well, <laughs> and enjoyable? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I mean, I, I, I do pick and choose. I can pick yeah. and choose and I love Mackenzie's work. Yeah. I've always loved him, you know, on... Um, in the office, of and, course, and, of course, and detectories. <clears throat> I always thought, here's someone who takes real trouble over how he makes programmes. Yeah, and he has a calm and a quietness mm. about him, and he's also extremely funny. I mean, he <laughs> looks as though he's terribly unhappy most of the time. He's got he has got that that resting sort of, face. Oh my God! You know, he's, he's been working for the BBC for too long. But no, <laughs> the, he actually has a great sense of humour. Yeah. So when he asked me to do this, I mean, even though I was very busy at that particular yeah. time. Uh, it was a no-brainer, I said, absolutely. Yeah, you, you yeah. bet, yeah. of course. I mean, yeah. remember the original, John Pertwee in the original, of course. Was it a book that your kids read yeah. when they were growing up? Well, I can remember the John Pertwee being, uh, uh, Words of Gummidge, being one of those things that my children yeah. and ourselves shared. And there weren't many programmes like that. That's true. Mostly what we watched, they oh, what are you doing? <laughs> old-fashioned stuff, and we... we didn't get what they were watching. This was just perfect. Yeah, so it makes perfect um, sense. And I, I think it does, it, it does appeal, because uh, very basic themes of friendship and, and, and sort of the mm. countryside and all that, which I think go, go right across the generation. No, very much so. And it's on over Christmas, it's on Boxing Day, of course, and on yes. the 27th as well. Um, yes. Which is, it's a kind of like a treat. It's a treat. He looks like a turnip, doesn't he? When he you does. <laughs> I don't know how he, whether he based it on a turnip or something, but I mean, it was an incredibly difficult thing for him to do because yeah. he was in makeup every morning about four thirty, yeah, getting dressed as a scarecrow. I know, um, and to be able to still kind of emote yeah. through all of that, no, through all of that it's, stuff, it's, yeah, yeah, it's good. And, and direct as well. <laughs> you know, who's this person coming up to you, telling you <laughs> we're going to shoot at that? Do, when he looks me. like a turnip, I'm not going to turnip. Now look, how are you? Because you had a wee scare. Yes. Are you fine? Is everything okay yeah, with your it heart? Yeah, actually just after we filmed yeah. Gummidge. Um, on the very last shot we ever did, which is me going up the, the hill with, um, with Wurzel, I just, my heart was going beating rather hard, unusually hard, and I was getting very breathless. And at one point I just had to stop, and I thought, Jeez. this is crazy. Um, but I, 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 I had been diagnosed with a, um, a leaky valve in my right. heart, and okay. that was about five years ago, and they said it may get worse, it may get better. But obviously, by that time, it had got worse. And mm. I, two days later, I saw my cardiologist. He said, well, I think you should have surgery and get that sorted. So I had surgery in September. And they, it's like having the builders in, you know, they do a right, bit here. Right. Oh, we found another valve. We, we right, tidied yeah. that right. up. We put but you're OK? On. Yeah, Good. I feel, I, honestly, I feel ridiculously better than I did oh, before. Oh, I'm really glad. I really am. Because I think... Oh, and congratulations, you are a sir. Oh, yeah, please. This yeah. is... No, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. Did you kind of agonise a little bit over that, just a wee bit? I agonised over it a lot. Yeah. yeah. Because I know various people who... Um, I think John Cleese, actually, one of them, who turned down an honour. Yeah. And I thought, well, maybe I'm a comedian, I've done comedy, you know, why do you... Get, why, should we be the sort of people accepting honours? But mine was largely for geography and travel and of all course. that. And I'm very proud of what I've so done with those programmes be. and the fact that children have learnt about the world yeah. and, and lots of people have learnt about the world through what I do. So I said, well, yeah, it's a, I couldn't think of any really good reason to say no. <laughs> Well, why would so, you? There we are. Why would you? Did, did William ask you, the, where the next, Prince William say to you, what's the next place you go? Because everybody says to you, where are you going to go now? Where have you not been? Yes, where yeah. are you going to go yeah. now? Did he do that? No, he did ask me that. <laughs> uh, and normally I... I um, People would say, where are you going next? And I would say Middlesbrough, because yeah. I'd never been there. <laughs> right. um, and I think I might have told him that, and he sort of joked for a minute. And then, no, we Aww. talked about Central Asia. No, it's great. Do you know, I, what I love about you is your curiosity. Uh, I remember seeing a lecture that you did in the National Geographic Society. You gave mm. this you gave this talk, it was a beautiful talk, and you said that, you said people have to, and I always say it all the time, it's really yeah. stayed with me, yeah. that you have to be curious about the world and mm. about everything in it. We're and that's lucky. what you're like. Yeah. Well, there's a lot to see, there's a lot yeah, to know about, yeah, there's a lot yeah. to learn about. And I think there's a feeling, sometimes we get so oppressed by all the awful things that are happening, we get very glum, we go into ourselves, we become very introspective. Mm. And I've got a tendency to that, but generally speaking, I, I'm, I, I celebrate most days because I just think there's so much to see and exactly. do and I want to learn about. Mm. And so that's why I travel and 
I think that's why I was able to put across the joys of travel. Well, that was it. it was to you... me, it's still rather wonderful. Well, you took to us that. by the hand and you took us all over the world and we were with you and we mm. felt that we experienced that. And it also made us want to go and experience, if we're lucky enough to be able to do that, you know, if we've got the time yeah. and money and all the rest of it, that we can actually follow you to do this thing. What I do love about you, though, is that your favourite moment in your career was being slapped on the face with a fish. Well, we showed that yeah. clip earlier on. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> that is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I was asked about my proudest moment, and <laughs> I said, actually, it's the fish slapping dance fall. You see here, yeah, it's fall the quite a amazing. long way. Boing. There I go, look at that. That's the best fall ever. When we rehearsed, that canal lot was full. I had about a foot to fall. Suddenly, when we were about to do the take, it's drained completely. It's oh, no. The water's 15 feet down. Do I stop? Oh, no! No! The so professional just That's keeps going. That's what we going. did in those days. And it was, the crew were laughing away, <laughs> and I was stuck in this canal. I could barely break the surface. My boots were filling up with water. I was like, please. That's thank very you. Funny. Thank you for doing it. That's what I say. Thank you. And obviously, we will see you in Morsel Gummidge Boxing Day and the 27th yeah. at 7 o'clock. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Oh, always a joy.